In spite of the obstacles we face, our plan proceeds apace. Just a little farther and we will reach the capital itself. Still, we mustn't get ahead of ourselves. As soon as the camp has been made fit for purpose, we are to discuss a course of action with Lucia. Would you mind asking Ishtola and Groha to join us in that building to the north of the camp? Alice and I will meet you there. Sure, I'll ask them. But first, if you have any questions or comments for me, you'll find me live every day on twitch.tv forward slash drybear. Who knows? I might even be streaming right now. Thank you for informing the others of our meeting. When everyone is here, we will begin. Let's go. All right. So what do we do now that we're here? Can we charge up the front and attack? Or no? Our present situation is as follows. All right, give it to us. Give it to us, Trace. Efforts to aid the people of Garlemald have begun in earnest. Right. Moreover, having entered into the capital, the Imperial Palace is within our reach. Also right. But before we proceed further, we must learn what has befallen this city. For therein lies the key to understanding and combating the Talofaroi's designs. Mm-hmm. I have a suggestion, if I may. Several of the Imperial soldiers we captured on the Magna Glacias are members of the Populares and acquaintances of mine. Once we have cured them of their tempering, they should be able to give a reliable account of the events leading to the capital's downfall. A promising idea. I will assist the healers and their ministrations. Okay. Of course, I will require a porxy of my own, assuming you can spare one. Mm. Easy peasy. Would you like a hand? No, no, I am sure we will manage. Better that you take my place in the field. The noxious ether of this place disagrees with me, and as I shall need to draw on my own for the treatment, it will be prudent for me to remain within the camp. Mm. Mm. This talk of curing the tempered is all well and good, but I reckon the cold is a more pressing concern. This guy is straight All to the, the point. All around here are fitted with cerulean eaters that could keep us warm and toasty. Problem is, the machines seem to have given up the ghost, and if we keep sitting around, freezing our asses off, we'll be next. Firewood? My smiths reckon that with the right parts, they can have them working again, but it okay. won't be easy. Am I going to have to get the parts? Understood. The machinist will assist them in the repairs. Nice. The rest of us should either stand watch or survey the area. We've made our presence known to the Telophroi. They will be searching for us, if they have not already ascertained our position. They probably already know. After that big that we have seen wave no of enemies. Of since the battle suggests they have yet to do so. However, I suspect they may be biding their time. Or perhaps we are beneath their notice. No, that can't be right. In any event, we'll find no answers standing around here. Urianje, Estinian, and myself have visited Garlemald recently, so we'll lead the reconnaissance efforts. Perhaps bolstered by a few Bosnian and Dalmaskian scouts from my previous excursion for good measure. Notters. Don't forget about us Alamegans. We have experienced scouts of our own. Well now, this is turning out to be a rather sizable team. With such numbers, we should be able to cover a wide area with relative ease, including that surrounding the Imperial Palace. How about you, Graha? I have a feeling we'll find a use or two for that vanishing spell of yours. Hmm. <laughs> Should be my honor to be of service, though I doubt that you of all people need rely on my tricks. That leaves us with guard duty. Sounds good. I As guess. a matter of fact, I have something else in mind for the two of you and Alphano. Oh? Between here and the center of the capital lies the Eblen Rhyme. Mm. I would have you search the area for survivors. Your keen sense of direction, honed in your extensive travels, should prove useful in navigating the ice fields. Stop bothering me up. I'm already gonna do it. 
If there are any survivors, we'll surely find them. Extensive travel is something of an understatement, but I suppose if there's nothing else that needs doing. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ice fields. I love ice fields. Oh wait, no, I don't. We'll find the survivors. Stay positive, man. Don't be negative. I have faith that you will and look forward to greeting you on your safe return. Sounds good. Oh, ah, ah, ah. You all have your duties. Let us make haste. May the fury bless and keep you. True. All right. Next step of our journey. It's probably just to go get another uh, etherite crystal location. Get some quests. You know, gods be good. If it's this cold with Tatsuro's clothing, I dread to think how we'd fare without it. I must remember to thank her when we next meet. It makes me realize, too, that while the people of Garlemald have spent their whole lives in conditions like these, even they'd be hard pressed to survive away from the warmth of their homes. If there are any survivors, we must find them and quickly. Okay. This guy looks cold, or he's praying. Emmanuel is, as usual, milling about aimlessly. Jesus. What? What ho, chums? Been given something to do, have you? As it happens, I too have been ordered to make myself useful. Wow. Sounds like rather a tall order. Ahem, since you asked, we're to scour the Eblam Rhyme for survivors. What? Wander around ice fields on the off chance you'll find someone? You'd take forever to finish a job without the benefit of my expertise, or more specifically, my, my telescope. <laughs> Come, friends. I know just the spot to begin our search. All right, buddy. Ooh. A perfect view. Peeping, peeping. I spy with my little telescope a massive sheep thing, or maybe it's a cow. Not what we're after either way. Is that an ether current? Ah, oh, no, just a wind sprite. Hmm, other than that, it's all snow, snow, snow. But lo, what do I see? Or yon hillock? A survivor? There's no mistaking it. That's a girl. <gasps> what? A survivor? Show me. Over there behind that tree. Like, it looks like she's running away from something, though surely not us. She wouldn't even know we're here unless she had a telescope like mine. All I can tell is that she's wearing a pale green dress, a rather fetching one at that. Okay. Uh, let's go check it out. She'll be long gone by the time we get anywhere near, but we should be able to follow her footprints. Notters. I'll let Lucia know we're heading where we're heading. Oh, and take these warming tinctures with you. All right. Sounds good. The poor girl must be chilled to the bone, if not on the verge of freezing to death. That's actually very thoughtful. Thank you, but you won't, won't you need some for yourself? No, no, I'll be fine. As a man of chivalry, my honor demands I do no less. And lest we forget, the very reason we are here is to protect those in need. Now go and Godspeed. Should we trust him? Can I look through the telescope? All right, let's go. Trail of fresh footprints lead east. All right. Oh my God, there they are. We're getting closer, I'm sure of it. At first we thought she'd gone inside the building, but the door doesn't look to have been opened in some time. She might still be nearby, so we'll keep looking around here. Then again, it's also possible that she ran right past this place. Would you mind searching up ahead? Sure. Oh my God, more footprints. What could these be? I wonder. Doot. Surveying. Oh my god, I love surveying. Hello, random girl in the snow. We're here to rescue you? Question mark? Girl? Uh. <gasps> there she is. The girl in the green dress anxiously surveys her surroundings. What if she's a spy? Trying to spy on us, dude. Just she's trying to blend in as a casual civilian. Were you to call out to her from a distance, it might attract wild beasts to your location. It would be safer to get closer first, but you must do so without drawing her attention. What? I have to sneak up on her? All right, surveying done. I can love surveying. Follow the girl from a safe distance. The objective will end in failure if you are noticed. Make use of cover, such as rocks, to approach her without being seen. The objective will also end in failure if you fall too far behind. Should you fail to complete the objective, you may try again. What the? I use the rocks. How do I know if I'm too close? All right, we're going, we're going, we're going. She probably stops and turns around here, right? We probably have to use these rocks. She's so fast. Pant, pant. All right, look at me. I'm sneaky beaky. Girl in green. 
What's your destination? Turn around? Hmm. I don't know, dude. Nobody's here. So far, so good. Exactly. You will never know me. I am sneak sneaky secret forever. Uh, we probably want to use the trees, right? Oh, don't get too close. Where do I hide? Crap. I gotta hide behind the tree, but she's going too slow. Quick, lay down. Go prone. I think she do like... Don't, don't aggro me. Here we go. Line of sight break. Line of sight break. She doesn't know. She doesn't know. She turns around soon. I'm just gonna stay here. Is someone there? No. You're all alone. There's no one here. I must be imagining things. Yes, you are. Continue on. Continue on. Keep going. <gasps> She's running this time. Why is the champion of the light sneaking up on some random girl? I'm gonna go over here and hide. <laughs> better catch my breath. Yeah, you better do that. Okay, she does not have much stamina at all. Where'd he go? I don't know. If those bass, if those beasts spot me, I'm done for. True. What are you even doing out here by yourself, you weirdo? The heck is this, man? Oh, stop. I'm going to the tree. 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 Sneaky beaky. Sneaky beaky. I hope my luck holds. Okay. I'm close enough to approach her now. You can't see me. Got to keep going. They're all depending on me. Ooh. Oh my god, is her village starving? She ran out to the snow to get them food. How far am I going, man? Is that them up there? She's so fast. Oh! Mighty. Oh! Who are you? Stay away. No! Ah! I've been spotted. You're not going to trick me this time, girl. Come on to your nonsense. Use the tree. Use the tree. Use the tree. Use the tree. Wait, she's just going all the way now? It's a, it's a trap, right? It's got to be a trap. She did say final spurt. Here we go. Sneaky beaky. I don't trust it. Oh, we did it! All right, nice. Phew, still in one piece. Now turn around. Turn around. Do you think you could escape me? I followed you here. And you'll answer my questions. Huh? Who's this? Oh, <gasps> random person. Who? Who are you? Stay back. This house is packed with explosives. I'll take another step and I'll blow this place sky high. No, don't do that. Please, we just want to talk. Why are you out here by yourself? I'm Alphano. This is my sister, Alice, and our good friend, Torvald. Beef Castle. We have no intention of hurting or taking anything from you or anyone else. I give you my word. We and our comrades have come to provide aid to the people of Garlemald. Aid? You savages are the ones responsible for all of this. You did this to us. No? Huh? We didn't, I promise you. One of the other reasons we came was to find out what happened here, in fact. The Telephoriah are the ones to blame. They're the ones who laid waste to Garlemald, and they won't stop until they've destroyed the entire world. They're the enemy. Our enemy. Hmm. On our way, we encountered Imperial soldiers who had been who had, had had been made their thralls. Those poor souls are now in our care, and we are striving to cure them of their affliction. You're the first person we've met who isn't already enslaved. How were you able to escape the Telephoriah's influence? Are there any others like you? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to overwhelm you. Let's start with introductions. Can you tell me your name? Dingus. Uh, my name is Lucina. Lucinia. As far as for how I've managed to stay sane, I have been asking myself the same question. Ever since that night and the roar, that terrible roar, and then the screams. I was screaming too, I think. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Hmm. Then came the silence. Everything was still. It was like waking up from a nightmare. 
I thought that maybe the fighting had stopped, so I stepped outside. And... And... If your hells are real, I saw one that day. I ran past friends, people I'd known all my life. Eyes vacant, dead, staring at the sky. <sighs> Others were mad and violent. I saw them struggle with soldiers, but didn't stay to watch. I fled as far as my legs would take me. Hmm. Hmm? Do you have family here? Is this their home? No. What? No, this is Victor Spoils, a mansion for retired soldiers. Or it was, but now me and my... Me and a few others are... Um... Borrowing it. Hmm. As for the explosives, I was making that up. I just wanted to keep everyone else safe and I didn't know if you were... Sigh. The truth is, our supplies are running low. You said you're here to help. Can you? Of course! Whatever assistance we can provide, we will! Thank you. I'd better tell the others first, though. Wait here. Alright. Disable the booby traps or, or you're, you're gonna get it. This is everyone. Oh, hey guys. Oh, they're cold. Hi, everyone. Oh my God, they're so young and cold. Lucinia says you can be trusted, but these are desperate times. We'd be fools to let foreign troops into our home. Having said that, were you to provide us with means of heating the place as a sign of goodwill? Perhaps you can take you at your word. If that is too much to ask, then leave us be. A negotiator, huh? Time to put my firewood gathering skills to use. Could you provide the spark with a little magic? Alice, Yup. We'll have a fire building in no time. May we build it under the gazebo? The what? Oh, you mean the bower. Yes, yes. Do as you will. Okay. We will do that. Let's make a fire, friends. If she's just in a dress and the other people are like in coats and freezing. Dot, dot, dot. Hmm. Why is she a group of dotting? Is she up to something? I wonder. Completed. Lucinia's inner turmoil is a writ plain on her face. Sorry, I was... I'm still finding it hard to come to terms with all that's happened. Now that you're here, though, I'm hoping things might change for the better. You know, I've worked up quite a sweat from all that running about, so I'll leave space around the fire for the, other, for the others. As you can tell, they're in a far worse state than me. We are planning to look for somewhere warmer or with more food, but they're not going anywhere until we nurse them back to health, which I don't know how to do. Is there anything you can do to help them? Uh, sure. Why not? I can treat their frostbite and their wounds, but it will take time for the fire to do its work. Now would be a good occasion to make use of Emanelaine's tinctures, the ones that can warm the body from the inside out. Would you make sure everyone gets one? Do I have to give it to each person? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Uh, here, have a thing. The numbers is being aside, though I suspect once the fire dies, it will return with a vengeance. Why you gotta be so negative, dude? Just be, be happy you have fire. Here, drink this. It warms you up from the inside. Warming tincture? I've never heard of such a thing. No harm in trying, but tell me, have you heard aught of the city? Though calling it that seems absurd after what's happened. It's nothing but ruins now. The field buildings still standing offer no more than meager protection from wind and snow. Food production, water purification, the magic tech that sustained us has come to a grinding halt. What machina, machina that remi the remains operational cannot be run for lack of cerulean. Of course, cerulea ingens is full of the stuff for all the good it does us. No one here knows the first thing about extraction or refinement. Okay, what do you got to say? I'm going to stand on your fire. All is well. Yes, never better. Here, warm yourself up with this uh, chemical. Drink this. Oh, what sweet libation is this? Is it poison by any chance? Yeah. Drink it. You'll die. Then you won't be cold ever again. Ha ha ha. Twas a joke. A joke. Ha 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 ha. If I laugh, tis that I may not weep. So said the poet. The poet. And alas, my tears would freeze on my cheek ere they fell. We are the blessed damned to bear witness to the fall of the great empire while our brethren lie dead or live on as puppets of flesh. First came the war, then came the roar. When the warning came, Garlemald was no more. In the cacophony of gunfire, explosions, and screams was our beloved 
capital raised to the ground from the rubble. This guy is chatty. From the rubble rose the disheveled remnants, their lavish finery caked in ash as they shuffled mindlessly towards the palace, each bearing a fragment of stone or metal and offering perhaps to the architect of our destruction a hopeful new, new few, a hopeful few tried to reason with the deranged, only to be beaten for their kindness. But I knew better than to play. Jesus Christ, bro. Are you, are you tell me your whole life story? But I knew better than to play with the horde. I fled with my health, if not my conscience preserved. Now I wait with my fellow cowards for our final judgment. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. What about you, dude? What do you want? Hmm. I have half a mind to just walk away. Here, drink this, jerk. Hmm. A tincture. May as well drink it, I suppose. Yeah, I always take uh, random potions from strangers. Always. Oh, this guy's special. He's got a cutscene. <gasps> a radio. What a jammer. EMCA? This? It's a radio. You don't have them where you come from, I take it? We use them to listen to messages sent by others, even over great distances. Wow. There are different types, but different types, but this model is by far the most popular. Made with quality components, crafted with the finest ore, sourced from Locus Amonus, it says. Among us? And all the useful since the capital fell into ruin. The people at the broadcasting station must have either fled or ended up like all the others because all we've been hearing is the same music being played over and over and over again. Welcome to Earth Christmas, my friend. Home beyond the horizon, an ode to the brave men and women sent to reclaim our ancestral homeland of Locus Among Us. We may have founded an empire in these frozen wastes, but we always hope to take back what was once ours. Tis a solemn reminder that though we must suffer great hardship, better days will surely come. Surely. Despite everything, I believe that Emperor Varus yet lives and that he speaks to us through our radios. That's... 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 It's like a tinfoil hat kind of thing going on there, bud. It was a cunning strategy, faking his murder. He must have foreseen this catastrophe and chosen to conceal himself that he may one day make his triumphant return. This guy's high on copium. Yes, yes, I'm sure of it. Emperor Varus would not be defeated so easily. Dude, he's dead. I watched him get dead. He's super dead. What's that? Here, drink this, uh, drink this liquid. It's good for you. <laughs> so this is what you gave the others? Thank you, I'll save it for later. Dude, she's so, uh, pragmatic. Actually, yeah, I have a few things to ask you. How did I get so handsome? Are you part of the group staying in Laturum? I saw Legatus Virgilius troops heading towards the Magna Glaces a few days ago. Are they the ones you encountered? Yes. Yes, yes. Camp Broken Glass, you call it. And Virgilia and her men are all there now. Hmm. So how did you reach the Magna Glaces? Did you cross the mountains on foot? No, we flew. In flying spacecraft. <laughs> Airships? There might be a way to... Lucinia, where is everyone? She lied! There's someone else! She said this is everyone. What a liar. Gasp. Is, is something the matter? Are you going to act like I didn't just hear that voice inside? Girl. I heard it. A voice from inside, you say? You must be imagining things. Everyone's out here, silly. I swear to God, woman. Perhaps a baby Almasia has found its way into the house. It wouldn't be the first time. Show me who's inside. Now the soldiers scared them off. Wild animals have been roaming closer to the settlements. Some have been known to attack people too. That's why she wouldn't leave the door even though there was fire over there. It's a little sister, little brother. If you and yours are strong enough to defeat a Legatus, then surely a few beasts shouldn't pose a threat. I'm going to kill things. If you have a mind to continue helping us, perhaps you can head to the other side of the lake. There's a small group of trappers living there. People whose job was to extract cerulean. They still do from what we can tell. I've already tried asking if they would share their fuel with us, but they're not willing to give it away. They want food in exchange. Lots of food. And that's something we don't have and can't get on our own. On top of that, to even reach their den, we have to make our way past all those creatures. 
You're not, you're really just going to ignore the fact that a, a voice just came out of this building and you've been puppy guarding it the whole time. Would you be willing to go to where, go in our place? We only need enough ceruleum to last until the others are strong enough to travel to your camp. If the offer still stands, that is. Oh, and I don't expect you to give up your own supplies, but there might be another way to pay the trappers. Tappers. Uh, you best watch out for baby almasties while we're away. I like this. There's a little bit of, there's a little bit of, there's a little edge to that, that response. Like, I know exactly what you're doing, but I'm not going to press you on it. Ah, yes, of course. If I see any, I'll be sure to shoo them away. See that you do, Licinia. To reach Tapper's Den, you'll have to cross the lake. The ice is thick enough to support a person's weight, but if you rather not take the risk, you'll look, take the long way around. Finding the entrance can be tricky too, so it's easier to just look for someone guarding the in outside. However, you decide to head there, please be careful. Sure thing. Burly Tapper, there it is. Wow, who goes there? How did you find us? There's, I just walked. What do you mean I stand out here like a sore thumb? Hmph, if the purebloods over at Victor's Spoils hadn't given away our location, you'd never have found us. You're standing, okay. Those stuck-up a-holes thought they could come waltzing in here demanding Cerulean with nothing to offer in return? Ha! Ah, looks like the boot's on the other foot now. The capital's gone to shite. So they've resorted to sending you to negotiate. I know your game, Cell Sword. If you think we'll give in to intimidation, they've got another thing coming. What? Why? Why are you like this? Okay. I'll give you a chance to reconsider. Just think about it. We don't have to go down this road. We can choose peace. All right, fine. Have you ever met Bahamut? Have you ever met Bahamut? You know, you know who Bahamut is? No, you don't? Okay, well, it's this gang. A literal primal dragon. Yeah. That's the one right there. Am I dead yet? I mean, you can be. Okay, well, let's, we got that out of the way. Now, can we engage in discourse? Maybe? There you are! Who? Oh, Alice. Just after you left, Lucinia asked me to go and catch up with you in case you needed a hand. Someone must have let slip that I have a little experience in transporting burials of Ceruleum. It was on your LinkedIn profile. So this is Tapper's Den. Well then, after you. All right, in we go. Do -do 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 -do. Who are you? What happened to the guards? I killed them. Actually, they attacked me. I, it was self-defense. Eorzeans and rebels here to save the people of Garlemald? That doesn't make any sense. Why in the hells would you pass up this chance to put those Imperial bastards to the sword? Let me guess, none of you are Garlean? You are brought here from another land. Yep. Gear Abania, Yanxia, Baja, Dalmasca, to name a few. Some dragged here against our will. Others fed bollocks about a better life, all put to work extracting Ceruleum. Sad. All given the esteemed title of On, placing us firmly on the bottom rung of the ladder. But the old hierarchy means nothing in the new Garlemald, says we. About the only thing that's escaped more or less unscathed is Cerulea Ingens, still sustaining us even with our paymasters out of the picture. We hear you're experts in drawing up Cerulean from the bottom of the lake, but how can you do that if it's frozen over? Ha! Wouldn't you like to know? Trade secrets, I'm afraid. At any rate, it's not as if Ceruleum is used for much these days. What with the city in ruins. We take enough power for our heaters and save the surplus for later. And though it helps to save off the cold, it does sod all about our hunger unless we can trade it away. You can't eat it? Have you tried? Speaking of which, be sure to tell your contingent we've got Ceruleum by the barrelful. If they're interested, we'll exchange it for whatever provisions they're willing to spare. We can certainly ask, but if you're all free to go now, why carry on living here? Free to go? Go where? Even if we managed to get back to our homelands, there'd be nothing left for us thanks to the Empire. And the knowledge and skills we acquired working here would be practically useless outside of Garlemald. So we're saying for the time being, long as there's a need for Cerulean, we'll find a way to get by, even if Garlemald as we know it is gone for good. Hmm. Gone for good. Gone for evil. Regardless of what the Ilsabard contingent does for the people of Garlemald, the Empire itself is already a thing of the past. For many, that would be a case cause for celebration, while others 
their whole way of life will be have been turned upside down. After all the atrocities committed in the Empire's name, perhaps it is for the best that is consigned to history. But what of the ordinary people, their lives, their stories? Should they be forgotten too? Hmm, I suppose there'll be plenty of time to ponder that later. For now, let's see about getting some Cerulean. Okay, gimme. Jarek is amenable to making a deal. I'll give you five eggs. Take it or leave it. So you've come seeking Cerulean, have you? Yep. What? Those pure bloods up at Victor Spoils sent you? To turn to their enemies for help, they must be more desperate than I thought. Then again, Lucinia's got her little sister thing about. You mean the one inside the, the, the building? A sister? But we only saw Lucinian with three men. It's possible she died from what was ailing her. If she needed treatment, I doubt there'd be any way to get it around here. I may have refused the city at first, thinking she'd come back with something to exchange, but I can spare them a bottle's worth of cerulean. Aw. Consider it worth for interesting me to the rest of your contingent. Be sure to send them our, our way, you hear? Aw. Okay. Pretty sick, man. I can't, I can't for the life of me think why the Cenec would keep her secret from us, but we can ask about that after we've delivered this cerulean. Come on, let's hurry back. This isn't right. It's too quiet. What happened? I would have thought Alphano would be treating them by fire, but they're nowhere to be seen. I'll look inside the house while you search outside. They can't have gone far. You think Lucinia sent us away to do something evil? Or did something happen? What are they doing back here? What the? Alphano, what happened? Explain! What? They asked me, asked me to help carry supplies, but when I followed them back here, they attacked me! Caught me off guard, forced me to, to defend myself. I fear they fared rather worse than me. You can't fool us, we know. We know what you're about! You idiots! What? Vultures, that's what you are, waiting in the wings for us to show weakness. Then in you swoop. No? Here to help? What rot? I'll a ploy to make us lower our guard. Let you in. Put ourselves at your mercy. Put us in chains. Steal our lands. Get your revenge. No? You're wrong. That's not what any of us want. Where's uh, the girl? We've got bigger problems. I found empty medicine bottles and a bed that was still warm. It's true. Lucinia was hiding her sick sister inside the house. But they're gone. She wandered out into the snow again, but now there's no sign of either of them. Where are they? Where did they go? Away from you and yours. And if you think I'll tell you, you're a fool. I'd never give up my people. Huh? We're trying to help them, you idiot! Her sister's ill. The bo empty bottles prove it. So the medicine ran out, or she put it in her pockets to make it easier to carry. She, like, poured it in her pockets? Or to avoid the sound of clanking glass. There are beasts everywhere. How could you let them go alone? To protect them from you. Bum, bum, bum. Ba -da 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 -da. You invade our homeland, taint it with the same sorcery used to slay our countrymen. A Garlean should sooner die than suffer the insult. Better for them to flee, keep their purity intact, than be corrupted by your vile magics. We were waiting, waiting for a chance to free them. Since the moment you arrived. Oh my God. This whole time, huh? Jesus. This is getting us nowhere. I cannot say how Lucinia and her sister will react when we find them, but them find them we must. Go on without me, both of you. I first need to attend to my injuries and theirs. I will join you in the search after. All right, be careful. Hmm. We'll do our best to find them quickly. There's only one path out of here, so that's where we'll start. Okay. Maybe she's like hiding inside the, the crawl space or something. Two sets of fresh footprints. Young women, judging by the size. This is definitely them. Come on. Let's go after them. They won't survive out here by themselves. The trail stops at the frozen lake. Perhaps they chose this route so as not to leave footprints. I can't think of any other reason. Look at this place. It's crawling with beasts, and I can only imagine how hard it must be for her ailing sister to cross the ice. We can really do with Alphano's hope, help, but we can't afford to wait for him. Let's split up and look for clues. 
Okay, Batman. The empty bottle smells faintly of alcohol. The thin coating of dirt indicates it has been here for some time and is unlikely to have any connection to Cynia and her sister. Darn. More clues. The blood staining the snow appears to be fresh. Judging by the amount, the victim may have been severely wounded. The trail of blood leads southeast. Oh, God. Whose blood is this? Lucidia, no! And sister! Oh! She's owned! They're both owned! What the? What? You idiots. Why did you run out by yourself? The two bodies are already cold. Oh, my God. God, you dinguses! Why'd you have to run out by yourself? Oh, man. All right. Res them. Use your res magic. The radio? Huh? Where are you? How old are you? Do you want to hurt me? Run, Alice, run! <laughs> run! It's too late. It's too late. <laughs> Blood trail. Yep. We found one. They were attacked. And they're dead. Yep. They died holding each other's hand, at least. Unlucky. No. Oh, poor Alice. Eh? They just couldn't trust us. They'd rather oh. die. They'd rather die than trust us. Quite literally. Why? Why wouldn't they? Well, there's the sister. Safer to brave the wilds than trust in our magic. Brutal. Cynthia, why? We should have. I should have. It's all your fault, Alpha. No. We can't leave them like this. We have to take them home. What if we're only making it worse? Bringing back their corpses. Maybe we don't belong here. But neither did they. Not out here in the wind and the cold. Uh. Uh. How are they get? Do I have to carry it? They're little. Oh, we're going to grave them. I thought we were going to carry it back. But I guess this is probably the right answer. Oh, we did carry it back. We're back. Never mind. I heard the story oh. about Varus's voice from beyond the grave. Mm-hmm. Of course, I didn't believe it. But Lacinia and her sister did. Somehow. Perhaps there is something to the tale after all. I mean, we watched him die. He's dead. Right? I want to understand. So I'm going to borrow this for a while, if that's all right. You had every reason not to trust us. We came as trespassers, invaders. But I pray that in time, we will be more than that to you. That we will find a way to help your loved ones. Mm. And see that no more children are left to freeze alone in the snow. Oh. For Lucinia and the sister we never met. There must have been something we could have done, but what? Should we have never come here? Would they still be alive if we hadn't? I mean, they were starving to death. And the sister was sick. Da, na, na, na. Alpha knows us all, baby's shaken, but he has not forgotten his duty. We have already caused enough harm here. Let us return to camp before we cause any more. As for those inside the house, we should send someone to take care of them. Someone who isn't us. All we can do for now is to make our report to Lucia and do everything in our power to prevent further tragedy. So let us linger here no more. Come. All right.
anyway. Alice and Alphano told tell me they have finished their preliminary search for survivors, but refrain from saying much more than that. Clearly, they are reluctant to provide details. Might I ask for your account? Sure, I'll tell you. <laughs> Thank you for your report. You're welcome. I spared we no detail. Inform the troops of these developments <laughs> and instruct them to proceed with the utmost caution should they encounter any survivors. I mean, we kind of did stalk the girl into her house. Allow me to go and speak with the ones at the Victor's spoils. They may be more willing to listen to a fellow Garlean and accept our offer of assistance. That's a good idea. I pray you are right. And though I am loath to burden you any further, should there be an appropriate occasion to speak of Lacinia and her sister, please do so. Hmm. God dang it. I am sorry to have put you through this. Hmm. My distress is nothing compared to their suffering. So tell me. What else have we learned? Any news? Oh. As you may have already heard, we have succeeded in curing the members of the Popularis Maxima identified. Really? They have provided us with some intriguing insights into the current state of Garlemald. Hmm. The assassination of Emperor Varus was the catalyst for the civil war. Makes sense. Nerva declared his claim to the throne, and his opponents refused to recognize it. Also makes sense. Really? Of course, I still think he's alive. Even Imperial warmongers would balk at the idea of turning their shining city into a battleground. Like burning down the wood to spite the wasps. Neither side would be so mad. Unless... Something or someone inflamed their animosity to such an extent that they could not help but act against their better judgment. Yeah, it was blonde guy. Edgy Sephiroth. It brings to mind events of the Gimlet Dark, does it not? The Emperor's sudden withdrawal from the front line, specifically. Nerva and his father, Titus, Varus's then political rival, took advantage of rumors that Crown Prince Zenos had been possessed by a demon. I mean, not too far off. <laughs> Illidibus, what better way to disparage your enemies than with the truth or a close enough approximation? Close enough? Indeed. But before their accusations could be substantiated, many of Titus's followers were silenced. Uh-oh. Uh, while some were merely stripped of their status, others died under curious circumstances. One after another, suddenly and suspiciously. Assassination. Again, Elidibus. Like as not, he had a hand in it. No evidence was found to implicate Varus, certainly. Nevertheless, Titus, Nerva, and the Third Legion would have judged it a brazen attempt by the Emperor to rid himself of his political enemies. And then, in the midst of this growing turmoil, Varus Sosgalvis is murdered. Yep. Flashback. And Garlemald's own prodigal son, Gaius Van Belsar, is named the murderer. He tried to save Surely him, though. Nerva claims the right of succession. Oh and in God. response, the First Legion claims the assassination was part of a coup d'etat orchestrated by Titus and Nerva. I mean, why not? Why not take advantage, I guess? So no one is at fault? And everyone else is to blame. Humanity! I should add that both parties received substantial financial backing, presumably to provide them with the means and encouragement to pursue a swift victory. Mm. And that these contributions came from the self-same benefactor. I'd heard House Brutus had been filling the Third Legion's coffers, but the first as well. That is curious. It would seem so. Though the Popular is determined that the First Legion received funds from a variety of organizations, mm. all had connections to House Brutus. So Fandaniel, in the guise of Arsahi, was playing both sides against each other the entire time. Sounds like him. To what end, though? The information we gained from my friends does not end there. 
Okay. One night, shortly after fighting broke out, the capital was shaken by an immense tremor. Uh oh. From that point onward, they have no memories, no recollection of any events, including our clash on the map. So it happened Lackey. again. Memory wiping. When asked about the Imperial Palace and its bizarre transformation, they somehow recall Emperor Varus giving them orders in their dreams. So new memories are being placed on it. May the Tower of Babel stand as testament. What? To the glory of Garlemald. What the? This sounds awfully familiar. Evil. We have something to show you all. He made a gingerbread house and he wants everyone to see it. He was inspired by all the snow. <gasps> a radio. He hypnotized them. Varys spoke to them through this radio. Uh huh. Perhaps it was a recording, but if not, that would be inexplicable. Okay. A spirit box. We are of one mind then. Hmm. The ether that permeates the ore used in this device is almost identical to that of the talismans. Oh? I see it. While it is likely more by coincidence than design, these devices might also ward against a primal's influence. A picture is beginning to form. If the tremor felt throughout Garlemald was a wave of ether emitted by a primal, yeah. then while those within range would have been tempered, those huddled around a radio desperate for news concerning the Civil War would have been spared. Oh. No wonder Licinia kept it close. Hey. My friends, I must speak with you. Timmy's stuck in the well? Oh no! A young man was caught trying to steal our supplies. What? He's a soldier of the Iron Men, we think, but one who has not been made thrall. Oh. Huh. Cut off his hands. Thankfully, Magni restrained him before blood was spilled. Dang it. The stranger is outside, if you wish to ask him questions. Sure. I think what we do. Is your favorite color? Who? This guy? Who do we have here? Hmm. Garleans? Huh? Uh, Traitors to your homeland! Have you no shame? Old. God damn. I am Lucia Junius, a temple knight of Ishgard. And you are? Big dumb face. Julius Pier Norbanus. And that's all you invaders will get from me. What if we offer you food? We are not here to invade Garlemald. Far from it. Like you, our allies in Eorzea and the Far East fight in defense of their lives and their loved ones even as we speak. Okay. But it is the people of Garlemald who have suffered most. True. This we know. And that is why we have come to offer you our aid, that we may unite against our common foe. Dude, they're not gonna buy it. These people are so defensive. There's no way. Whether you believe me or not, those are the facts. Now, answer me this. Mm -hmm. Why would a proud soldier of the Empire be reduced to stealing? The situation must be dire indeed for you to go to such lengths. Call him out! <sighs> Make him lower his guard, and then feed him. If it is supplies you seek, we would gladly share ours. Or turn a blind eye while you leave with your spoils. Hmm. I will not negotiate. My commander will determine how to deal with you okay, and yours. Hey, dude. If you wish to treat with him, I will take you, huh. but no more than three. Okay. Let me guess. Me and Alphano and Alice. I don't much like the sound of that. But if we do accept his proposal. I oh. suggest the two of us and uh, a Garlean or one of these two. Alice. 
Please allow me and Alize to act as envoys. There it is. May I ask why? Mm. They feel guilty. We have seen with our own eyes the hardships the mm -hmm. Guardians face. How their futures and lives hang in the balance. Yep. It's not the warmest invitation, but it's but a chance to make them better. Hmm. I'm going with you. What would your mother say if I let you two go by yourselves? <laughs> That's so random. I'll take it. <laughs> what would your mom say? I'm coming. Nodders. I can see that persuading you otherwise is a lost cause. But you will proceed with the utmost care. Nope. Reckless abandon. That's the only way we do this. Here we are. A couple of children and what? A cell sword. Yep. Is this an insult? Shut your mouth. Not in the least. You will find that they are more than qualified to speak on our behalf. I'm the champion of yours yet. Why do they not know this? Everyone should know my face. There are many dangers I'm on very the important. road ahead. I will need that back. Oh, he's a gunbreaker. Ooh. Wow. Wow. All right. Let's go to the commander, whoever the frick this mouthy person is. Lucia, we're going to go. Have a good day. You will be received as invited guests, and so I urge you to observe proper social etiquette and conduct yourself accordingly. No. Your safe return takes precedence above all else. Remember this. Then Crane in particular will be worried sick if you're gone too long. May the Fury watch over you and keep you. All right, ding dong. Let's go. Are you and the children ready? I will explain the route once we are outside your camp. If anyone attempts to follow us, we will judge it an act of hostility. We will not hesitate to take appropriate measures. I would expect nothing less. You have our full cooperation. All right, this is far enough. Listen carefully. We head over that hill, then follow the road until we reach Liminal Station 4. Children in the lead, I want you where I can see you. We do have names, you know. I'm Alice, and he's Alphano. And last but not least, there's Torvald Beefcastle. Torvald? Where have I heard that? So you have heard of me! <gasps> no matter, Alphano and Alice will watch the road ahead while we bring up the rear. I wasn't lying about there being many diggers, so you're to run, not saunter run towards the station. If you even think about going for your weapon, the deal's off. Should any creatures bar the way, we go around them. Once you choose to depart, Julius will accompany you. Ready to make a dash to the station? Yes. We go. Okay. We go around the animals. We make our way to the state. Where is the station? We don't even know. We have to follow them to find out. It's a bear! Look out! I'm guessing that's the station up there. But the train's like derailed. It's actually not even that far from our camp, to be honest. We're like in our backyard, man. Let's go! Let's go to meet the commander and make friends. We made it! This is it. The first stop, that is. Hey, what? Huh? Good. It looks like your friends knew better than to follow us. Are these your headquarters? No. We're stopping here so I can check for pursuers. Since it appears you've kept to your side of the bargain, we can carry on. That... Okay. I guess we keep going then. North the station is Regio Dorm Dor Dormam who have come to bargain. One of the main residential areas, or at least it was. The afflicted roam the streets in the packs. They'll tear us to shreds if given the chance. Keep close, no wandering off. Understood? Okay. Ju Julius knows only too well that danger lurks around every corner. From here, we'll be heading northeast, keeping it to the left of the ra railway. While the route itself is a straightforward, getting past the hordes unseen is anything but. Keep your weapons at the ready. But you said if I reach for it, you'll kill me. They would attack their own countrymen? Aye, they spare their own, but slaughter the rest without hesitation. Though we'll try to avoid detection, the chances of sneaking by completely unnoticed are slim at best. I will lead the way, but in the event we are seen, you're to fight them off. Those two will follow us, provided they can refrain from drawing their weapons. While I doubt they would be foolish enough to stab their guide in the back, I will not take that chance. With that said, let us proceed. 
Okay, gasp, here they are. Ridiculous, man. Oh no. Oh, wake up, you fools. Why do you attack us? Oh boy. We survived. That was close. I see why your comrades chose you. Jolus, our contingent has a cure for the afflicted or tempered as we call them. Your people would need to be taken into custody that we may administer the treatment, but they would eventually regain their sanity. Is that so? For all I know, your treatment would simply force them to forsake one master for another. As far as I and my legion are concerned, there are no longer our people. They are beyond saving. Those who thought differently and tried to reason with them were butchered for their bleeding hearts. Come, we have to keep moving. Oh, Julius. More tempered soldiers? No! Say it ain't so! Oh, God! Help! Help! Oh, can they really not be saved? Oh, no. Looks like we're not being followed. We will continue onward. Let's go to the next area. I meant what I said. These people deserve only death. I stayed my hand before only out of desire to remain undiscovered. And that is still the higher priority. We should continue to avoid any unnecessary confrontations. Keep following the railway. Up that way? How far are we going here, man? How are we supposed to trust you? These guys look feral. Are there even people anymore? Tempered Imperial. Looks like a sconce. What the heck? What the heck, man? Well, all right. Dead now. Look at what they have become. Would you still stand there and claim that they can be cured? They do look pretty freaky. Those exposed to a vast quantity of a primal's ether may suffer severe corruption. Even with treatment, such victims are beyond salvation. And you admit it. Now that you have seen these monstrosities for yourself, perhaps you will think twice before speaking of a cure. We're almost there. You have kept your side of the agreement, so I will keep mine this way. This must be it, right? I mean, what else would this giant compound be, right? This is Tertium, one of Garlemald's largest stations. It now serves as our headquarters. I've already sent the twins down uh, ahead. I will be with you soon, so wait for me at the bottom of the stairs. Oh, it's like underground. That's why I couldn't reach it. Oh my God. It's like super duper underground. Theodora. What up, dude? Oh, people be dying. That's rough. It's unlike this. I bet that's how subways always are, man. A bunch of people laying on the floor. Some sick people. Some weird people. Whoa. They have the radios down here too. God damn. Wow. It's plain to see why they chose though this as their base of operations. Safe, underground, probably warmer. They could have done a lot worse. Even so, I imagine it's not the easiest place to live. Indeed, and if Julius was willing to make the perilous journey to Camp Broken Glass in search of food, their own supplies must be all but exhausted. They may be shielded from the wind and snow, but it's still bitterly cold. Much like Victor's spoils, it must be a constant struggle to keep their people warm. Yeah. Lower your voices while you may be here as my guest. The others will not take kindly to your presence. My commander is in the locomotive over there. That train looks fancy, man. It's cozy inside. Cozy. Mm -hmm. All right, who's this commander that we keep hearing about? These are their chosen representatives. Uh-huh. Here we are. All right, let's do auto on this. Hmm. Very well. Let us Imposing hear what they have commander. To say. Have you heard about yes, our Lord sir. and Savior? Huh? Yeah, get out of the way, buddy. I present to you our commander. Who? Lord Quintus Van Kena, Legatus oh. of the First Legion. Hi, Quintus. The First? I had no idea you had survived. Hmm. We lost our Emperor, our city, more than half our troops. 
For my wounds, I may never take the field again. But we survived, I. Hmm. In a manner much to your liking, I dare say. What? We have no intention uh. of adding to your misfortunes, nor do we bear you any ill will. Mm. Spare me. Though you children may speak in earnest, overtures of peace ever ring hollow in my ears. So I long as man it. stands to profit from his neighbor's suffering, war is inevitable. Well, we're different, man. We're different. Driven from our ancestral homeland into this blasted waste. Yet still mm -hmm. you yearned to rob us of our paltry scraps. No. It was only with Magitek that you learned to keep your distance. Though we knew it was only a matter of time before you regrouped and returned. Oh my god. Conquest and Empire were our only defenses. Emperors Solus and Varys understood this, and through their campaigns saw us grow and prosper. Much blood has been spilled in Garlemald's name, aye. But if it is a choice between yours and mine, then it is hardly a choice at all. This guy has seen some stuff. I do not deny that a great many conflicts throughout history were driven by the desire or necessity to gain by another's loss. That is not why we are here. Master Debater. Nor have we come to petition your aid in the war with the Telophoroi, grave though that threat may be. Our purpose is simply this. Find the biggest pizza on the planet. We wish to help you. Let us help you. You would. But regardless of the ideals you espouse, your leaders would not send an army into Garlemald if they did not stand to benefit. Yeah, if we're... we accept their aid, they will expect their efforts to be rewarded once the Telophoroi are no longer a threat. <sighs> and after compensation and concessions, the great empire would be brought to heel. Her enemies rejoice at her downfall. Our third eye, a mark of shame. I mean, you're the headquarters of the greatest evil. We won't stand idly by and let your people be humiliated. And we're not alone in that. We only want to make a difference, to make this world of ours better. Surely you can understand that. What I'm trying to say is, there are so, so many people who just don't care about making you suffer. And maybe that's almost insulting after all the suffering you feel the world has subjected your people to, but... Believe it or not, that's the truth. And now we're here, and all we're asking is for you to tell us what you want, what you hope for. These people are never gonna trust us. So much blood has been shed, so much lost, all because of this endless war. Who wouldn't want to end it? Can we not work together to face our problems as one? Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Answer me this, young peacemakers. He's on the fence. If a world without conflict is your desire, why reject the unity and prosperity of Garlemald? Huh? Is it because we do not share your faith? That we do not share your heritage? What? That our ideals uh. and virtues differ? That we cherish and hold in the highest that which you do not? No! Disparity is the root of discord, and peace built on compromise is flawed and fleeting. Happiness for one and all is a dream, and the reality is that to the victor go the spoils. That is why we Garlians will never submit nor surrender. For freedom and for pride, we will remain true to ourselves until the bitter end. Jesus Christ. That is my hope. 
It seems there is nothing more to say on the matter. I guess not. Don't touch me. What? What? Why? You will remain here while I decide what is to be done with you. I can easily kill all Do of these people. No harm will come to you. Oh my you god. Uh, is there any food? Or drinks? Any, any, anything on the radio? We resist. However, as your guests, I ask that we be allowed to speak with the other members of your group. As you wish. I had no intention of locking you up. As by dawn, you would be frozen stiff and you're no good to be dead. <laughs> you are free to move about the encampment. But there is one condition. What is it? Collar them. What? Collar them? What? What do you mean? It's like a shock collar? What are these? Huh? Explosive collar? Incentive. <laughs> You'll be watched at all times. It is a Stay shock too collar! Far or act suspiciously, and we will administer a rather painful shock. What? Stop. Oh. Keep away from that one. Huh? The champion of Eorzea is not so easily cowed. He knows! <laughs> so you have heard of me. Nice. Even if he allowed himself to be collared, the shock would be no more than an itch. No. <laughs> if he refuses to obey, we will activate the twins' restraints instead. God dang! Jesus! You needn't worry about us. Okay. Okay. We'll forget we're even wearing them soon enough. That's not true. Even now, you still... Why go to such lengths? What is it all for? For peace, you dummy! Because even the most bitter adversary may one day see reason. On the coldest, blackest of nights, meager though it may be, we must share the warmth of our fire. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Aww. True. <laughs> what say you? You are a curious one. A far cry from the merciless barbarian others paint you to be. Oh? You will be their warden. Take them away. I will- what? Oh, him. I see. Yes, sir. <laughs> At least they know how powerful I am. Don't bother putting a collar on him. He's too powerful. Well, this is getting real dark. My God. Now we're collared slaves with shock collars? And we can't leave. Okie dokie then. Uh, well. <laughs> it's not responding. Their etherite doesn't even work. What is this place? What is this place? Dillis has his orders, unpleasant though they may be. As per Lord Quintus's instructions, I am to supervise you during your time here in Tertian. He's our chaperone. Wow. For you asked, no, I don't have any a key or any other means to remove your collars, nor would I tell you if I did. And if you try anything, you'll soon wish you had it. So, do you truly intend to speak with the others, or was that merely a ruse? We're in no hurry to, hurry to disobey Lord Quintus, if that's what you mean. Or perhaps you doubt the wisdom of his decision. Ooh, turn it back on him. Nice. That's good stuff. Do as you will, but remember, I'll be watching. If I catch wind of you doing anything untoward, trying to trick our people into turning in their coats and the like, 
Those shock collars will be the least of your worries. Understood? Yes, Papa. Though we're somewhat compromised, to put it lightly, there's, let's not waste this opportunity. I suggest splitting up and learning what we can of their situation. And above all else, don't use magics of any sort. Okay, fine. You, on the other hand, may go wheresoever you wish, even outside the camp. I know full well I couldn't stop you if I tried. Thank you. I'm so powerful. <laughs> but do not forget, if you do anything to endanger us or our interests, Alphano and Alice a will pay the price. God damn, man. God damn. This is getting real dark. You came with Julius, didn't you? Well, whatever business you brought you here, you'd better best keep your hands off that etherite. It's deactivated, but I'd rather you didn't mess about with it. There are others throughout the city built by Garleans for Garleans. Could teleport all over in the blink of an eye, provided there was a terminal nearby. These days, however, we use the etherite's power to keep this place lit. That's what etherites are for. Yep, makes sense. Though that, that comes at the cost of its normal function. Oh my goodness. All the teleports are broken, dude. It's you, Torvald Beef Castle. It is. I served under Lord Gaius in the in the 14th Legion. I was there on the night the Praetorium fell. That was a long time ago. You and your adventurers, you killed them. My comrades, my friends, swept them aside in their dozens as though they were nothing to you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and maybe I am too, just another faceless enemy to be cut down. But it won't be long until our countrymen return. Until you get what you deserve. Mark my words. Jesus. Okay. Uh, sorry. S -s -s so c -c 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 cold. This young soldier's on the verge of losing consciousness. All right, we won't talk to him then. Uh, Marcellinus. I know who you are. The so-called champion of yours. Yeah, come to gloat, have you? I'll wipe that smirk off your face. By the blood of our fallen compatriots, I swear I'll... Ugh. Damn. Tore the sutures. The, what? Man's got holes? Of all the times, the worst of the lot within striking distance, and I can't even muster the strength. If it weren't for the, the third bleeding us, we'd be the end of you. Virgilia's treachery nearly cost Lord Quintus his life, but we made our escape, took shelter in a mansion, tended to the wounded as we prepared to strike. Back and then... Night fell and we gathered around the radio. And then the roar, the terrible roar. The capital was in chaos, but we were spared. If you can call this a mercy. Mind intact, but body broken. A soldier in name alone. I'd cut you down where you stand if I could, murderer. Do it. Go ahead. I'm right here, man. Go ahead. You know, I mean, I mean eh, l listen. Go ahead. You want me to level? I'll level down. Look. I'm level 21. Go ahead. Try it. My thought. Uh, Magitech Radio. Interacting. Wow. This radio is the same model as one used at Victor Spoils. Perhaps it is what saved the soldiers here from being tempered. Probably. Well, we talked to all the people. Um, Alpha knows over here. This is kind of a cozy car. Neato. Did you learn anything of note? <laughs> Then your findings are consistent with my own. Their plight is desperate indeed. The sick and injured are at greatest risk. Without warmth and proper nutrition, I fear they will soon perish. I realize there is precious little we can do for them at present, but I cannot bear to see them suffer. Please, will you help me tend to them? Uh, sure. Assist Flavinus. Flavius, you good, man? I'm assisting you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who's there? My eyes. They, I can't see all that well. Ah, thank you. The numbness has subsided a little. But I know I won't last much longer. You should look to the others who can still fight. Give them my ration. If me going hungry means someone else lives to see another day, so be it. At least I can still serve in that way. This is so grim. Oh my god. Uh, okay. So those you met fare no better. I was afraid you would say that. I know you are warned against meddling in their affairs, but we can't leave them like this. Perhaps we might gain permission to have the contingent deliver supplies. Quintus may have made his feelings on the matter quite clear, but even he must recognize they are not in a position to refuse help. Maybe Jillis could persuade him, though we'd need to persuade Jillis first. All right. Well, seen enough? I guess. Uh, 
Jealous, the people here have barely enough food and fuel to survive. Have you and the other soldiers been able to procure any more supplies? We've been scavenging provisions from the nearby houses, as most families keep kept, rather. Some stored away in the event they were snowed in. Still, going out and getting it is dangerous work, and we have a lot of mouths to feed. True. Fuel is the greater concern, though. We had some ceruleum set aside until it was stolen. We haven't identified the culprit. Could have been other refugees or one of the afflicted, for all we know. Either way, we're down to the last dregs. Without the heating they need, those in poor health are only going to get worse instead of better. If it's really going to eat, our contingent has secured a ready supply. We can have some sent over. No. Of course not. We will not accept your charity. If we can hold on a little longer, the situation is sure to change. Aye, everything will change. Opium. One of your comrades mentioned something along those lines. Th those mysterious countrymen of yours, I assume. One of your comrades. Let's be nice. Hmm. Heard something of it, have you? Well, from what I've seen, there's little you could do to interfere, so there's no harm in telling you. Uh, one of our scouts spotted a hooded man issuing instructions to the afflicted. That was Fan Daniel. Or, in the bastard's words, loyal servants of the Telferai. Then, he made his way inside the Imperial Palace, or what stands in its place. We've identified the seat of the enemy's power, we realize. Lord Quintus dispatched a messenger to the 10th Legion, saying as such, and instructing them to join forces with the Provincial Legions. To prepare for a combined assault on the Telephora. Once our allies arrive, your contingent will be sent running for the hills. Then we shall reclaim the capital by our own hand. And how do you intend to survive in the meantime? At this rate, many of your countrymen will perish long before reinforcements reach Garlemald. They need help now. Say the word and we will bring you Cerulean. Say the word. Say it. Say it. Say it now. Do it. I will speak with Lord Quintus. Oh my god. Well, that's the start. You think Quintus is going to give in? I mean, it's it's supplies. Oh, he spoke. Okay. Everyone shut up. So, did he agree to it? No. Of course not. No, he will not place Garnemald in the debt of her enemies. I have, however, been ordered to search for Cerulean outside. As you are under my watch, you will come with me. Bruh. We're just trying to help. God dang it. All right, let's go look for Cerulean. After all, many hands make like... Could we introduce them to the tappers and have them sell directly to these people instead of coming from us? Right? You are a lot of more trouble than you're worth. Thanks, man. Once we are outside, you will follow my instructions to the letter. We depart shortly. Okay. If you enjoyed yourself today, leave a like down below. You can support me and my work on Patreon and view Patreon exclusive content. Link in the description. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.